Okay, so in this demonstration, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the bee tray um, and also how to lay out your first project. Now, typically we do lay out two different designs. So usually when you, uh, you lay out one, you lay out the other, you choose which one you feel is the best, uh, the one that you like the most, and then you string that one. If you wanna string both of them, you're welcome to. You just have to fill out the cost of production tree twice. Um, so, so if you do wanna keep both of them, we know what that final cost is. Um, remember, you do have a budget of $5 um, that lasts for this project, the basic necklace, and the second project, the complex. $5 is your total. It's not $5 per each one. So just kind of be aware of the cost on stuff. Again, like I said in the other video, um, I rarely have anybody that actually owes me money um, if you want to keep the project um, kind of thing when you're all, when you're all done with it. Um, just as a review, because we need to know this, um, what are the main learning targets? Create a symmetrical necklace at least 24 inches long incorporate four more different types of beads and then make sure your findings match so first off on here you notice a zero and then one then two then three then four so we know by looking at this what uh the measurements are okay um and this is based on the outside ring the inside ring is going to be um is going to be like shorter like you have to go up longer um you can kind of guess at that um, I mean, if you're off an inch or two, it's not that big a deal. Um, but if you start making necklaces like 12 inches, 13, 14 inches, that's when you don't do as much work as everybody else. That's when your grade suffers, you know, for that part. Um, so first off, says 24 inches long. So zero. Um, so if I go up along the necklace here, this is 12 inches on this side, 12 inches on this side. So I know 24 inches along here. I highly recommend you go to 14 because there's always little spaces between be beads that when you start um, putting them together, you realize, um, crap, you know, I'm like four inches short, um, which which isn't that big a deal. A lot of times people just add extra beads on the top, you know, and you can kind of go from there. But but it's, it's nice if you plan ahead, you know, and you know that you're not going to hit that. So again, 24 inches long, which means that it's at step 12 on both sides, but I would recommend going up, up there. Okay, now that you know that, um, you filled out your sheet um, at this point, so you know the meaning and the purpose. Um, so you gotta rely on that because that is a big part of the assignment is to make sure that you have an idea. You know, what are you making this for? What situation is are you gonna, would you wear this in? Um, and if this isn't for you, it's for somebody else, that's fine. Um, a lot of times we don't always make stuff for our, ourselves in art, we make it for other people. So figure out what that is. Um, right now, just for the demonstration purposes, I just have green beads out here. Um, I pulled uh, two of them out. Um, this one is a glass. Um, this one's also a glass. This one's three cents a piece. This one is a penny a piece. Um, when you start working on these, hang on to your beads, okay? Because you don't want to try finding these again when you fill out the cost of production because it is, it is a pain in the neck trying to find the beads again. And more than likely, somebody else has it. Um, so, and you can share, you can definitely share. Just realize that if I have this, if I'm using this color in my project and, and Sam is using it on, on her project, you know, then, then make sure you guys both know, it's like, hey, can I have that? Cause I need to fill that cost production sheet up. Now, the other part on the assignment is it has to be symmetrical. So whatever bead I have here, I have to um, have right next to it. So if I have a center bead or like a pendant, that's fine. And I have green, green, and then yellow, 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 red, 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 red. So if I was to cut this in half, this side should mirror this side. Okay. Um, if you can understand that, most people get a real high A on this project um, because it's, it's pretty straightforward and simple. You're just, you're just kind of learning some ideas out. And I can open these beads up. I can um, throw them on, onto there. Um, this is high school. You will notice that there are a couple different sizes, so somebody didn't put down the beads in the right container. So if you can grab them, I'm looking at it right now. These are the larger ones. Um, I should uh, make sure I put these back um, so I don't screw myself up, okay? If I like these better. These are five cents a piece versus four, three cents. You can by all means do that. But I'm gonna, but then I would start taking this and stuff and laying it out. I'm going to um, grab an old project. I'm gonna get it all laid out right here. Um, and then I will be back and I will show you the next step. Thank you. Okay, now that I have my necklace all laid out, again, this was a student uh, that did this, they didn't want it. Um, I just took the string off of it. 
um, to kind of explain a little bit more on the process of putting it together and Wells design. So first off, you notice they, they did want um, a pendant. Um, so I have that right here. Now it is symmetrical. Um, this is this is meeting all the requirements. Um, you know, so I take it back. It's just a tad bit short because um, we're not quite at the 24 inches. Um, depending after you string it, um, um, they might lose they might lose two percent. Um, they might they might get a 98 instead of 100 on it. Um, but but it's not that big a deal. Um, you could at this point add more of these kind of beads onto there um, if I wanted to, but um, but I'm just going to leave this as just a demonstration. Um, so a lot of these beads are ones that, you know, you find in these, in these containers. Um, but I also noticed there are a few beads, um, that they did grab that we don't actually have. Um, and so on, on this, you're going to be able to use, um, like this is a free bead area. So any of those free beads, you just, the problem with the free beads is you have to dig through them to find matches, you know, cause again, this has to be symmetrical. Um, and this is a great example of symmetry. Um, if I look up here, you do have to count them. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so you can see that that there's ten of this style bead on the left side, and there's ten on the right, and you can see that it goes all the way through. Now it doesn't have to be ten, 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 ten. It could be you know, 15 of this, four of this, three of this, one of this, uh, that doesn't matter, okay? <clears throat> as long as it's the same on the other side. Another thing is like, you need four different kinds of beads, but again, that means four different vials, but it doesn't mean they all have to be equal. You know, you could have some, usually you put more of your weight down here, so your larger beads are down here, then as you go across the neckline and the back of the neck, usually they're smaller beads. Um, and you see, so you might only have, you might only have, you might take one of these containers and only use like two of the beads. Okay, so it's not like you have to use equal amounts throughout the whole thing. Uh, I have my, um, next thing I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start going in over and, and start doing how to, how to string this. Okay, the way that you string is you're going to be grabbing um, this fishing line uh, that we use for the first project. Remember, your second project, um, you're going to be using um, a, an art wire, a uh, jewelry wire, instead of this instead of this thin stuff. Now, what I usually do is like we need 24 inches of this, but I would take like like 48, you know, or something. So I would I would I take this, I stretch it across, so like cr across my both my arms. You know, that is kind of um, kind of your length of your body. Um, in terms of how tall you are. I'm not going to go all that way because I don't need five feet. I, you know, four feet is plenty. Um, this stuff is pretty, um, this stuff is pretty cheap, so I don't need a ton of it. So I have, I have plenty of string here. You never want to run out because you have to start all over again. And I want to start stringing this through. First thing I want to do is I want to get some tape out. I want to take the string, put it through like that, I just hold it over once, and then I'm gonna take the string, kind of bend it over top of that, and just kind of wrap wrap this around. You don't need as much as I had. I grabbed a little bit too much. But the thing is, the reason why we fold it over is this is gonna be the end, and I'm gonna pull this, and it doesn't come apart. I'm gonna take the other end. So I have my other end of my string, which is right there, and I'm gonna start on this side, and I'm gonna start stringing this entire thing. Once I get this whole thing uh, strung, um, I'm gonna come back and we'll talk about how to start adding on the findings that I've already kind of picked out. Don't worry about your pendant. If this, if you have a pendant that you have to put a jump ring on, if you have a pendant that has like a fixed part on there, you do have to make sure you do put that on um, before you actually start stringing that. So um, an example would be
would be something like this. Now, now I wouldn't use this because it's, it's just a little too gaudy, uh, but it has this uh, jump ring on here that's already kind of fixed. Um, this you definitely want to add on as you're stringing it. Um, here's another one that you could use. Now the problem with this one is that if I attach the string through here, um, set this off to the side, it would sit like this, and that doesn't work. You have to be able to sit it like this. So you're putting your jump ring in. Like I have one right here. I'm just gonna to to use my fingers to open this up. Slide this in, close this back up again. So then it could easily go um, and hang, you know, like that. So if you have a if you have a pendant, definitely run it by me real quick so I can make sure that you, you understand that. But I'm gonna shut the video off and I'm gonna get this all strung up. Well, I'm about halfway done. I wanna kind of show you my progress so far. Again, I have this area taped. So when I start on one end and I put the beads in here, they fall down. Um, so it looks like this. If you don't do that, um, like I showed you on occasion, you'd be working in class and all of a sudden you hear the ping, 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 and somebody's whole necklace fell apart because they did not do this right. So it's important that you tape it, fold the string over, tape it again, and you won't have an issue with it. So the thing that I want to show you real quick is just, again, talking about right now I have um, like a pendant I want to stick on here. This one has a jump ring on it. So I can easily take that jump ring off and stick it right here. If you have something that's fixed um, and you don't, um, and, you, and you want to make sure it's, it's facing a certain way, we do have to put that, that pendant on, you know, right when you come to that middle so we, so we know what to add on to that. So again, if you have a pendant, you want to ask me about it in class, ask me about it in class. Um, this needs to be symmetrical. Now, the, the question is, well, what is, what is symmetrical again? It's, it's about the same on both sides. So we run into an issue a little bit with these things, these types of beads called chips. Um, chips can be really small or they can be really big. It's a very assorted size. So you might have seven chips on this side and five chips on this side, um, but they're still going to be symmetrical because they take up the same amount of space. So what I want to do is I want to kind of hold this up, pull this nice and tight because that's how it's going to look, and just double check before I keep going on with more beads that the chip area is symmetrical where they are lining up. If it doesn't seem like it is, it's like it looks like a short one, you know, even though they're, they're five on this side and five on this side, you might have to put six on this side to give it that symmetrical look. So I just wanna make sure I go over that before I finish that. Um, I'm almost done, I'll be back in a minute. 